Okay, welcome back and uh, thanks for joining me again. It's good to see you've made it through this far. Uh, what we're doing here is we're going to make a small map with a door in it. We're going to look at making doors and how we can trigger doors in different ways. Now, I've already started a small map off and we've created a wall across, so we've got two separate areas. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a door right in the middle of this wall, which will go through to this side. Uh, we could even, if we wanted to, we could split this into two separate rooms. We could split it uh, that way and put a dividing wall across and then put a door on this side and a door on that side if we wanted to um, but for now what we're going to do is we're going to look at just creating one single door right through the middle of this wall so we've got the wall there now you remember hopefully if you've watched the last videos we can actually cut through the wall with a subtraction brush now a subtraction brush we just simply draw the brush through the area we want to cut through like so, and we choose CSG subtract uh, once we're ready to do the cut. Now I'm just going to, uh, we'll make the door quite wide. We'll take it up to 400, and then we'll just, uh, we'll just click CSG subtract, and we'll delete that brush, and it's put a nice hole through there, that's our doorway. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and put some doors in there that will actually uh, open as we walk up to them. We could even make it a secret hidden door so, you know, you could look at it and you wouldn't actually notice it was a door. It would just be, look like an indentation in the wall. In fact, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Now, what we'll do is we'll draw in the wall into the hole and we'll uh, make it, we'll drag it in a little bit so you can see there's something there. You know, you can see the edge, but you don't know that if this is a, a door. Now what we'll do is we'll select uh, the door itself, we'll shift click and then in one of the 3D planes, it could be either of the three, we'll right click and we'll choose Funk and we'll choose Door. Okay, so that's now got a door property set to it and we'll press the N key to see what uh, things we can set, what keys we can set for this door. Now uh, we can see we've got angle, target name, speed, there's a lot we can set on the door. Um, the main ones you're going to need to set are angle and speed. Uh, so what you may want to do is we'll, we'll set the angle first. We'll set the angle to uh, 90. Okay, so we know that that's going to open an angle of 90. Now, at the moment, what we don't know is, you know, which direction it's gone, going to open. We know we've set it to 90. Uh, it should should be to the left. It should be that way, like this. And then what we'll finally do is we'll set um, a lip on the door. So the lip that remains at the end of the move. So it would l usually leave, let's say, about eight units as the default. So if we go down here, it will probably leave about that much sticking out at the end. That's not exactly eight units, it's a lot more. But, you know, it gives you the idea uh, what lip does. So we'll, we'll set a lip, and we'll set the lip to zero and we'll set a message to appear on the screen and we'll say uh, well done you found a secret area okay and what we'll do is we'll set one more thing we'll set a speed on the door so it opens we'll set it quite slow now in fact we'll set it high uh, at the moment, it's set to a movement speed of 100. We'll set it to 150, just so we've, you know, we've made uh, a couple of different keys in here. You can also set sounds. Um, you can have it audible or silent. You can also set a health to the door, so the door must be shot open. You know, it will have a health amount, and you just keep shooting at the door to get it to open. But we'll, that's what we'll do for now. We'll we'll build this and test it in the game. And then what we'll do is we'll set a trigger somewhere else on the map that you have to run up and press to open the door. So let's flip over into the game. Okay, we'll load up our map. We called it door. And we'll wait for it to load. And notice the way I haven't actually set a trigger for this door. It automatically has a touch field so that when I walk up to it, it will open. I would see it opened at a weird angle there. 
<laughs> it didn't open very well at all, did it? Let's be honest. So, um, what we'll do is we'll run up to the door again. I'll see it open a strange way. Yeah, maybe we should fix that. So what we'll do is we'll flip back out into the editor. We set this to have a 90 angle. We'll now set the angle to... Uh, so we know 90 pushes backwards. Well, that must mean that 180 would push towards us. So 360 or 180 would uh, open it in a sliding direction. So we'll set the angle to 360. And then we'll build that again. Okay, back in the game, map, door, and um, we'll wait for that to load, and then we should be able to run up to the door, and it will open to the left or right for us. So we run up, there we go, it's opened. Now see, we set a, we didn't set a lip, but that's the eight unit lip. We'll see the door over there. Now, what we'll do in the next video is very, very quick video, we'll just set a trigger for this door so you have to run over and press something on the wall to open it but see the way i didn't trigger the door and it opens just because it's got a field around it waiting for the trigger and you can also set certain various you know, other keys on it you can set a damage key so that when the door comes and hits you in the face it will actually hurt and yeah because we've got a touch field the door wouldn't close just there but if we used it with a trigger the door would just close straight away so uh, that's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one where we'll just set up a simple trigger.